and they hang around the seawall and the docks just downstream mm -hmm. from where they release those fish again. Yeah. So you know, I haven't heard from them. I don't know if they actually went out or not because it got pretty nasty after oh, that. Oh, it got but, real nasty. But, yes, but, uh, kind of... You know, redfish, in fact, if anybody was in that tournament or knows about the tournament um, for Sunday, yeah, call in up this way. Saturday sounded pretty good. Uh, the, uh, the wind didn't pick up as much as they said it was going to on Saturday, but Sunday was a heck of a day. I don't know if they, you know, if Jerry's out there, Jerry, if you're listening, uh, Jerry Cleffy, uh, give us a call and let us know what went on with that tournament out that way. So uh, from what I understood, people were doing pretty good out there. People up in the river still catching tarpon up that way, even with this freshwater influx down there. I, and, and I'm telling people a difference between the tarpon that are coming in from the Gulf and the tarpon that you're catching up there in the river that are resident tarpon, a different color. Silver kings are the ones coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Um, you know, they're, they're a super bright silver color. That's why they're called silver kings. The bronze um, kings. The bronze ones are the ones that are resident tarpon up in the river. And they spend a lot of time up in the river because the dark water, the tannic acid, stains the scales to a gold color. So for a long time, scientists thought that they were two different species, but they're not. Just so, the color of the water that yep, stains, yep. The, stains so, everything. And uh, people are seeing a lot of garfish up there. Mullet have slowed down up there. But there's still a lot of small schools. What are they using for bait? Uh, actually, for bait for the uh, for the uh, tarpon, they're using cut catfish. Is what they're doing. And catching catfish, I mean, you can catch those things all over the place up there. Sail cat is is mostly what they're using. Uh, just be careful if you're catching those things. Those spines, they've got the little toxin on the end, and you haven't been a real fisherman if you haven't got stuck by a catfish. There's a uh, <laughs> there's a story on the internet uh, where an alligator gar, mm -hmm. a Texas fisherman, yep. bow hunted this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. three hundred pounds. Oh yeah, they get some big ones out this there. It's a they, monster. They, yeah, the the, the uh, gar fish that we get down here. There's actually about four different types of gar, and the ones we have down here are called the long nose gar. Uh, it, that gets up to about maybe four feet, all right, and mm -hmm. lots of teeth. Uh, just you want to stay away from their teeth, and, and I mean they'll they'll turn. They're almost like a barracuda, but the, the mouth has anything, extremely anything sharp teeth. Edible on these guys? Uh, yeah, there is anything is edible, depending upon you know. Yeah, but you don't want to go near them, Tommy. So just cut yeah, the line, yeah, let it go. Yeah. Well, see, you don't. Americans have a have a different type of eating habit than other places do it. Uh, South America and down to the Caribbean, they eat tarpon, all right? Okay. You know, and a lot of people, the reason people don't eat like ladyfish and tarpon and things like that is because of too many bones. Mm -hmm. And down in the Caribbean have a way to go ahead and cook the fish. They actually boil a lot of the fish, making fish stew, and it softens the bones up. In fact, if anybody likes anchovies or they like sardines, mm -hmm. you're eating the bones because the bones soften up. Sure. A lot of protein to yeah. them. Good morning. You're on the show. Hey, Tony. Tony. Oh, what are, you, what are you catching in your swale? Jeez. Any any walking catfish? <laughs> yep. Uh, you can actually use lures. You can use shrimp. Almost anything. Uh, if you're using lures, you you know we we use the same lures we use for like tarpon up that way. They they mostly fish down toward the bottom. The reason you see. The garfish and the tarpon rolling on the surface because they're they're low oxygen feeders. They they go into the bottoms of the deeper holes on the river and places like that where there's low oxygen. So they come up to the surface and they have an air bladder. They take a gulp of air. They roll on the surface. They go back down, and that way they can go ahead and bleed off that air through the bladder, through their through their system, and, and get oxygen so they can feed on crabs and, and other stuff down in the bottom. Right, right. Well, yeah, you can use almost. Any, we've used T-shirts before with a hook in them. So really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> you're bad. Yep, yeah. yeah. Well, you get that get that boat of yours cranked up, and you're gonna be catching fish in your backyard. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Tony, have you seen have you seen any of the walking catfish in your area at all? Okay. Oh no, they do. They do walk. We have to explain this to Holly because she yeah. thinks this. No, is no, a they do bowl. walk. We have walking. They go across the road and yeah. everything. So during during that storm we yep. were talking about earlier, I saw them in our driveway. Yep, that's walking right. across the road. Yep. They walk. No. Yeah, there's one with a little understand. stop sign. 
No, 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 Tony. We're not kidding you either. They're called walking catfish. They walk on their what is the the forward the front fins? Yeah, the pectoral fins. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. It's they're interesting to see. Well, the, the, put your hand out there. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tony. Good morning, everybody. 741. It's going to be rainy all day today uh, and tomorrow and maybe Wednesday. Depends what that storm's going to do, so we have to keep an eye on it. Uh, we got to remind you, the Green and Cleaner sponsored that golf tournament on uh, over the weekend. We had a lot of fun out there and a lot of laughs and a uh, good time. Thank you to Mike and uh, Mr. Lovejoy, who just was superb with that 60-degree wedge. Your 60-degree wedge? Well, it's one I gave him years ago. Okay. Of course, he's still using the clubs I gave to David Ayers. I sold to David Ayers uh, almost 12 years ago. And he made the statement that he never putted once? No, he never made a putt. Oh, that? Oh, I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, he never made a putt. Okay. Okay. Uh, we made uh, six birdies, finished in 66, had a good day, Great. and had a lot of fun. So it was a good drive. <clears throat> but the Greener Cleaner, I'll tell you what, free pickup and delivery. MyGreenerCleaner.com. Check it out. You get free pickup and delivery. They also do shoes, they do floors, they do tile, they do carpet. Uh, give them a call. They'll take care of you as, you as they did take care of us on Saturday. It was a great, great tournament and a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin Euclid, for you Red Sox fans out there, the Red Sox, uh, they got to give Valentine credit. He put Euclid in the game yesterday. His final hit was a triple. He's on third base, and he runs in a pinch runner. We knew at that time Kevin Euclid had been traded. It was a done deal. He goes out of the game to standing ovation, big hug. Mm -hmm. Got uh, they call him out of the dugout for a second call. Red Sox win the game, lose Kevin Euclid. He goes to the White Sox. The White Sox got a great uh, team player and all around good individual. So good luck to uh, Kevin Euclid as he leaves the Boston Red Sox. Do they do that in, in mid season like this? Yes. Do they? Not not to such a fan favorite like Euclid was. Yeah. Um, but yes, they'll trade somebody. Right in the middle of the season. That's strange, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is really strange. Yeah, I've asked Charlie to. Charlie and I are working on a deal for you, but you know, it hasn't come through yet. So oh, really? he's going to get me cash. He's going to take you next door. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get cash and a player to be named later. <laughs> Tommy, got our weather forecast. Oh, by the way, yes, sir. Uh, I do have a message for you. Oh, do you? Yes, the Kokomo Flash says <clears throat> if Tommy has trouble with the weather today, he does need to get a new job. <laughs> Well, I don't really have a problem with the weather today because we are under a uh, tropical storm watch. Uh, it's in effect until uh, tomorrow, and uh, some possible flooding is in effect until um, uh, eight or 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, let's make it that way, and uh, high surf advisory and coastal flooding in effect. Tornado watch is in effect until 2 o'clock uh, to this afternoon. But it's going to be breezy today. From what you see is what you're going to get. Winds will be out of the south at about uh, 15 to 20 miles per hour. And uh, the chance of rain in the forecast is 70%. Highs today, 86 to 90. Tonight, 60% uh, chance of thunderstorms. Uh, highs will be in the mid-70s. Tuesday, 60% chance of rain. And highs, 86 to 90. Right now from WCCF, it is official. We are at 79 degrees.